Good morning, everyone. <laughs> this is pretty girl. She looks like an angel. She is some of the time, but she's also pretty moody, which is okay. She deserves to have <laughs> that emotion too. So pretty girl is our barred owl. She's about 20 years old. She's very vocal. She thinks I'm talking to her. Uh, pr uh, barred owls have about 20 different vocalizations. And so she has her really ornate, distinct who cooks for you that she does at night. But then she also has these sweet little coos that she does. She does certain ones. If she's mad at us, it's more of like a click. This is like a good morning. We're just talking and conversation that she's doing for me right now. And Pretty Girl is a great supervisor. She is kind of a micromanager, I'm not gonna lie. So what I'm doing today is picking up some of their feathers. Pretty Girl and her, her enclosure mate, Taurus over here, are shedding their feathers right now. And so are some of our other inhabitant, inhabitants. So I wanted to talk about shedding and molting, why animals do this, and the words that we use to describe it. Pretty girl's just, she's being really good girl, so I hate to even pan away from her because she's so pretty. But on birds, they have a number of different feathers. We might think of all bird feathers being the same, or really pretty, bright colored birds that all their feathers look like that. But feathers are all different colors, they're different shapes. Every feather on her wing is numbered differently. And so she has flight feathers, are you gonna play with your toy? And she has special little feathers around her face that are almost whisker-like. And then she has special ones here that are nice and fluffy as well as here. So she is called a barred owl because of the barring on her chest here. And she, Amy, you're right. She is pretty and smart. She's a very intelligent bird, owls are. And pretty girl knows who we are. So when she hears us out here talking, she knows it's us and she'll come from her <coughs> from her box <laughs> because she knows our voices. So take one last look at pretty girl and then we'll go and we'll talk about our other bird in here. See you pretty girl. So like I said, she was supervising me because anytime I come into their enclosures, they're curious why I'm in there. And I was picking up feathers and she was helping me by offering moral support. Our other inhabitant in this aviary is Taurus. He is a bald eagle. Obviously he's everyone's easiest to identify. And as you can see that wing facing us here is amputated. So Taurus does not have his left wing and he lacks vision in his left eye. And he is a 41 year old bird. There he goes. Hey buddy. And you can see some of their feathers all around. So I come in here to collect those for two reasons. One is it's illegal for anyone to possess them. Uh, so I don't want the public to pick them up and you know, potentially get in trouble for them, try to sell them, etc. The second is I have to because I also cannot possess them and I have to mail them in. So I'll collect them all. We have a big box full and I mail them to Colorado. So why do birds lose their feathers? Well, they use their wings for a lot of things in their lifestyle, obviously flying. And with that flight, those feathers are worn down. And so they need to replace those essential feathers that are so important to their lifestyle. And so depending on the species, they shed a different number of times a year. So some may shed every year, they might not even shed in a year, or they could shed up to three times in a year, depending on how big they are and thus how big their feathers are. So Taurus sheds <clears throat> quite frequently um, but also it just seems like that to us, I think, because all of his feathers are in here versus in the wild, it, they wouldn't be so confined. They might be in a nest or, um, you know, scattered around a large area where they fly. But because he is in captivity, we kind of see them all clustered together here. And so a lot of these little ones are like downy feathers, their undercoat, 
Whereas we like to think of just those big flight feathers when we picture what bird feathers look like. So like I said, it's illegal to have his feathers. It's also illegal to have pretty girls. She is protected under the Migratory Bird Act. And pretty much any feather that you find out in the wild is illegal to have. Also, not to scare you away from birds, but there is avian lice and there are other things that these birds can carry. As you can see, Taurus reacted negatively to that loud truck that came by. Um, that's just a reminder to really respect their space. If you're coming up to view them, to move slowly. We have some other people coming by to look at him. This is kind of everyone's favorite part of coming to the nature center is seeing these guys. So Taurus is a male bald eagle. Males are smaller than females and he is old and he is non-flighted. So he doesn't have all that musculature developed that a big bald eagle in the wild would have. So he's a, he's a little guy for a bald eagle. Typical lifespans, 15 to 25 years. Like I said, he's 41. <clears throat> so <laughs> pretty girl wants a highlight again. So molting or shedding is a seasonal thing, but it's something that animals do at a strategic time. So shedding is a costly thing energetically. So to produce all of that energy to create all these new feathers is difficult on an animal. So they don't want to time that with when they're reproducing or when they're migrating. Uh, that wouldn't be good for migration to be missing some really important primary flight feathers. Um, and the same with reproduction. They're spending so much time creating a nest, laying eggs, and feeding young that they don't want to be using energy to make new feathers. That's a mockingbird that is taunting pretty girl still. It's a, it's an annual thing, right pretty girl? And so the question I had was, what's the difference between molting and shedding? And when do we use those terms? And some of it is just a difference in vernacular verbiage. Um, some is more biological. So typically shedding is with mammals, so fur and molting is things with an exoskeleton. So like our tarantula that molted. Uh, so they produce that whole new exoskeleton and they emerge with their new skin already grown. So the question is, what do birds do? Kind of both, I think. Uh, another thing I wanted to talk about is how birds can look different, different times of year, which you might just be seeing them in your yard when they're in breeding plumage every year or vice versa. You just see them when they're not in breeding plumage. And so breeding plumage is typically very bright and colorful because they're trying to attract a mate. And then eclipse plumage is what we call this kind of drab appearance that they have in the off season. So good bird books for that are like the Crossley Field Guide. I really enjoy its actual pictures from nature and it shows them the birds in their habitats and it shows eclipse, it shows juvenile, it shows all the different forms you could be seeing because it makes them hard to ID sometimes. You can think of it kind of like an extra challenge. Uh, that eclipse plumage or when they are molting their feathers and they look really drab or they have those new really glossy ones right next to the old ones that are worn out, you can really see the difference and it makes you question what species of bird it is because they look just so crazy. Pretty girl loves the camera. <laughs> Are you being a good girl, pretty girl? And, and she loves talking to me most of the time. Sometimes she gets pretty mad at me. Uh, but if you have any questions about birds and their feathers, feel free to drop them. We're going to move on to our mammal. We'll take our bucket of feathers. Hey, pretty girl. So she thinks maybe I have a treat in here for her, but it's really just all of the feathers that we're collecting. Thanks for your help, pretty girl. So our other inhabitant that we're going to talk about is Wiley. And Wiley is our coyote, and he's about 15 years old now. Typical lifespan for a coyote, that's, that's pretty old. Think of like a big dog, like a golden retriever, a golden retriever or a Labrador retriever. 
um, a, a large animal. 15 is uh, an old age for those guys. And Wiley here, I've been telling him to get a move on with his shedding for a couple months, but it, looking at pictures, it's he's right on track with how uh, he shed last year, both in the pattern that he shed and the time of year that he shed. And we did have kind of some late cold days, so maybe Wiley knew more than I did. And it's just a natural thing. People ask if he still behaves like a coyote and sheds like a coyote, even though he's here with us. And he does because um, those are innate responses. That's not a learned behavior. So if you can see him, he is shedding bad. And I can put some pictures in the comments, but man, he has just tufts of hair coming off of him. He gets some special horse uh, medicine in his food to help with shedding because they don't make coyote medicine. Uh, so our vet is really great and adapts things. So it's special formula for horses, for their fur, and he gets some and he seems to really enjoy it. He also has these bristle brushes to help him shed. I don't think he's quite caught on to it, uh, but they've been in here for a few months for him. I haven't seen him use them, but that doesn't mean he doesn't. So right now is his big seasonal shed. He could also shed throughout the year. Some of that under fur and his bristle hairs, those long ones, would still be there. And he might look overall thinner, but it wouldn't be as noticeable as this. This is, is quite apparent that he is shedding. And one of my favorite parts of him shedding is he obviously leaves all this fur around his enclosure. Hasn't learned to pick up after himself yet. Um, but the little birds that come in and take his tufts of hair and use them, he was spying on me, and they use them to build their nests. So you can see those long bristle hairs. He has white and black and some are both colors. And then that super, super soft fur. This is great for building a nest. So we pick up quite a bit of this from his enclosure because it just, it looks shabby. Um, but we do leave some for the birds that come in and pick it up. And Wiley does not mind those little birds coming in. He shares his food with them too. When it's a brand that he doesn't like, he'll let the birds come in and eat it. Right, Wiley? So, during the winter, he's big and fluffy, so he has extra fat, but then he also has so much extra fur, uh, so he looks huge, and people often